Morning folks and welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the 1209 haybine, the cutter bar. on the old 1209 we got the sickle bar out boxes of parts um, I got this thing and a guy started to switch it over to clogless rock guards but it was missing like every other hold down clip and it wasn't cutting very good it wouldn't clog so this is what we're doing. I got more of these hold down clips and all the parts I need to make this a full clogless system. These are really nice. It does, really does work good. It's almost like a disc bind. I can go right into a cut windrow and it doesn't, very rarely picks up laid down hay. It just goes right through it. Okay, so how these clogless ones work is you've got these rock guards on the bottom, stub guards, Without the point and the slot that your sickle bar moves back and forth in. And then you have these hold down clips. And these clips are different than the original clogless design. This is a one piece deal and it's a lot nicer. I'll show you the other ones. But you just bolt these on tight and then you adjust with this bolt here. You tighten this down. And it brings the clip down against the stub guard and holds your uh, sickle bar against the uh, stub guard here. And it's like scissors. It just goes back and forth. And, it, and if you don't have pressure holding it down against this, it isn't going to cut real good. So I just, I've, I'm just i putting them all in like this tighten them down but I'm not adjusting this yet until I get the sickle bar in once I have the sickle bar in I'll go through and adjust all these and tighten them down against the cutter bar now you don't you want it tight against this but not so tight that it's binding just so it slides back and forth and cuts now your stub guard goes on first and this is the old design. Stub guard goes on, and then I forgot to mention these wear bar wear plates, which all mine were shot and wore off. There wasn't a lip left on them, right here. So I got all new ones. Those go on like that. So you're cutter bar has something to wear against instead of the machine and this is the old design clips like these oh I, uh, I torched these off once you uh, once these have been on here a while that's why I'm putting anti-seas they uh, they're pretty much on there you can't get them back off because it's a carriage bolt with a square like I was mentioning once these are on here for a while it's really hard to get them off I, I'm putting anti-seize in hopes of being able to get them off again but it's just a carriage bolt and there's a square hole in the bottom of these stubs that goes in there but it's kind of loose in there so if it gets starts to get rusty and whatnot, you go to try to spin these nuts off, and it just that just turns in there. So I cut them all off with the torch. But like I was saying, here's the old design here. And then you got this thin little clip, and it's a three-piece deal. You got these guys that go on here 
like this and then once as you tighten down these nuts it pushes down pressure on this tab and holds your clipping down against the sections in the cutter bar but I don't like this design I've got all new one piece and these are heavier duty and it's a lot easier to adjust a lot nicer than this so I'm not going to use this well I got all the stub guards and the hold downs back on there's a few good ones so they're not all new but they're all in place now it's not missing every other one like it was so hopefully it doesn't cut strips anymore that was quite the project now I gotta replace some sections and get the sickle bar back in so here's the sickle bar there's some broke off some are chipped up little chips some are bent like that guy there so these are top serrated I gave those a try and I probably would have got them again but they were all out so we're gonna try these bottom serrated I used to run them they work pretty good maybe even a little better in finer stems softer grass so probably just end up switching all these out real quick here with brand new ones So to replace these, I like to use my little impact drill. You just buzz all these nuts off. This one's broken, these are broke. You just pound them back through with a punch. And the old section comes off. You just put the new one on and put your nut back on after I replace this broken bolt. Well, she's all back together. Yeah. And adjusted. We're gonna go uh, try out two things right now. Just got the white back from the shop. They took them three weeks to find a hydraulic leak. It was sucking air and the hydraulics wouldn't work. So we got this beast back and the hay bind all buttoned up see if it'll cut i have high hopes that something might happen this is a john deere 1209 it's supposed to say it right there and i'm cutting with the white 285. I just got back to the farm here I gotta do chores uh, the 1209 is junk I uh, wished I could have got video but I forgot and in the heat of the moment the wobble box blew apart and ripped off the frame of the hay bine after all that work <laughs> imagine that so the silver lining to this is I've been looking at a 1219, which is the same as that 1209, basically, but one model newer. So I guess I'll be going to get that tomorrow, and it needs a little bit of work. So my 1209 is going to be parts machine for that 1219, and we'll have to work on that one now get that one going so well that's where i'm gonna end this one i'm gonna do chores and call it a day